The first day we met at a cafe, all I remember was our friend introducing us. This is Ling. She's from Australia. I smiled to you and said, Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Here we are now, you and I in front of family and friends, knowing God is rejoicing. Two of us, two nations united. I'm thankful. According to Paul in scripture, love is patient, love is kind. You epitomize what it means to love. You are the most kind and most patient person I know. There is nothing we can't get through together. You have shown me time and time again that love never fails. I love our redemptive story. And there's never a day that passes I don't think of God's goodness when I think of you. Today, I promise to continuously grow in our relationship and be by your side, always. I will be transparent in truth. I will be vulnerable and dig deep in sharing my imperfections. I promise to be your number one fan and your best teammate. I promise to continuously work on our marriage and show my leadership in servanthood and kindness. I look forward to loving you throughout eternity under Jesus Christ's love and grace for us. I look forward to building a generational legacy based on compassion, prayer, and laughter. When there is darkness, our light will shine together. We will not fear what this world brings, but rejoice in all the abundance God has in store for this journey. I love you yesterday, today, and forevermore. My love, my soulmate. It's true when God says He will give beautiful ashes because what we have is beautiful and what we have is good. You're the answer to my prayers and the longing in my heart. I commit to loving you every single day and holding you in the highest regard. I promise that when we are older, we will look back the field and hearts full with the legacy we will leave behind. It would be my honor to stand by your side, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to always protect, always trust, always hope, and always persevere. Now upon the authority vested in me and by the province of British Columbia, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I pronounce you husband. relationship blossom and grow. I have loved about how, and how they went from going to slow jam Sundays to flipping the tickets. How they started a rental arch rental business. How they traveled together. How they both puked their guts out in my basement. How Abigail wants Auntie Lane to paint her nails and Uncle Tofu to paint her face how he mellows her, and how she motivates him. But most importantly, how they have placed God at the center of this union from day one. David, I'd like to formally welcome you to the family. I think you've been with Ling long enough to know what you're getting yourself into. I know that David has chosen well, and I believe that Ling has found her perfect life partner. And I really am full of admiration and pride today for the commitment they've set. And to you and Lynn, I wish you all the best in life. Uh, I hope you guys live a wonderful life with God that you share this gift with each other for the rest of your life. And I hope your parents and your family will support you no matter what. Same of you too, Lynn. And I will support you too no matter what. When you and David are together, I see the affection you give to him. And I see the connection you guys have together. I just know you guys are going to have an awesome marriage. <laughs> so my advice to you guys now is, after this wedding, when it's all over, 
You two go home and make baby. <laughs> I could sing of your love forever. 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 Thank you, Mom and Dad. You welcomed me into your family from the very first day we met. Very first. <laughs> she says I'm a good girl. <laughs> Dad, um, you've been an amazing father. You have taught me so much about life, about raising a family, about keeping our family together. And I love you. And mom, you are my heart, my soul. Um, you still, you still cook me lunch. I, I work like 1.2 kilometers away from my work, so she still cooks me. Uh, she packs him lunch. Packs him lunch. Packs him lunch. So does his laundry. Does me laundry, and that's fine. And that's fine. And uh, thank you so much, mom. Um, your love for me has always been. Me. They're the best parents in the world. <laughs> I love you, Link. So my parents have been Forever there for me all the time. Um, they flew more than 20 hours to get here. They, my mom hemmed my wedding dress like three days ago because it didn't fit well. My dad continued finishing the house. We didn't completely finish the renos. He went clean, cooked for us every single day, um, even though they flew. Probably really jet lag, but they cooked dinner for us every night. So I'm just very thankful they make everywhere we go just homely for us. Uh, mama, that's so weird. Thing that. Uh, Dada? <laughs> thank, thank you for making Ling. Woo! I love you guys. I love you guys.